uh, out of Boston, 92 people aboard. How did the hijackers get control of that plane? How did they crash it into the building? Uh, it has the signature marks of a suicide mission, of course. And then the other American Airlines flight, 64 people from Washington to Los Angeles crashed into the World Trade Center. Barksdale Air Force Base, Louisiana, uh, news alert. President Bush says military on high alert status. In 15 minutes. Are you talking about the, uh, you, did you go immediately to the Office of Emergency Management? No, I, I went down to the scene and we set up uh, headquarters at 75 Barclay Street, which was right there with the police commissioner, the fire commissioner, mm -hmm. the head of emergency management. And we were operating out of there when we were told that the World Trade Center was going to collapse. And it did collapse before we could actually get out of the building. So we were trapped in the building for 10, 15 minutes and finally found an exit and got out, walked north, and took a lot of people with us. My question is, the Office of Emergency Management headquarters, into which you put enormous effort for coordination in a disaster like this, has it been damaged? Is oh, it yes. still operating? It's it, gone? It, it, it's, in, uh, it's been uh, damaged. I don't know how badly. And right now, that whole area of Manhattan, including the police department, which is another area we would operate from, City Hall, is another area we would operate from, have been closed off. So we've moved to a uh, secure location in Midtown Manhattan, where we're operating city government. Is, is it fair to say, do you think, that all of your drills for dealing with terrorism and disaster are going according to plan? Or has this been of such uh, of magnitude that we've just all been caught totally off balance? Oh, there's no question we were all caught totally off balance. No, no one. No one, no one could possibly expect uh, large airplanes to crash into the, you know, the World Trade Center uh, the way this happened. I think, having said that, as I watched what the police officers and the firefighters were doing, I think they're going to save the maximum number of lives you could possibly save in a situation like this. I mean, they are, they, they, the emergency efforts that, that they've been going through over the last two, two and a half hours are uh, no, nothing short of... Uh, inspiring and when the national guard comes in to say did you say to take over or offer some relief what can the national guard do that you cannot do at a city level oh well, at this point what they can do is re relieve men who are going to be exhausted physically mm -hmm. and, emo and emotionally now just if you would because i know how busy you are just give us some sense of what you thought at the time about all this i thought that uh, i would never live to see anything like this i, di I didn't think any anything like this was was possible when i first arrived there I rushed down there from Midtown Manhattan, and I saw the first building that had been crashed open. And uh, when you look at it, it takes you a minute to really comprehend that it act this is actually happening. Uh, and, and to see people jumping from the top of the World Trade Center. I, mean, you, there, I, I don't think I've ever had a nightmare that's worse than this. Uh, Mr. Mayor, one last question. You said you'd, you never believed you'd live to see anything like this, and yet, in the past, you've been one of the leaders in, in preparing for just this Absolutely. kind of thing to happen. Yeah, but you, 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 you keep, uh, you prepare for the worst, but you don't believe that it'll happen, and this is the worst. And uh, I can only say that uh, I thank God for the police department and the fire department that we have, because uh, this, this would be much, much worse. And I'm also very proud of the people of the city. We evacuated Lower Manhattan with literally thousands of people walked along with them, and they conducted themselves really 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 well well i appreciate your time sir thank you very and much thank you very much for uh, communicating all this the mayor of new york the mayor of new york rudolph giuliani in his last term immensely popular with some not popular with others which is not relevant at the moment but because he puts his finger on on something about new york whatever you think of new york no matter where you live in the country this is a city which behaves pretty well in crisis there's, a, there's this public spirit here in this city you see it in blackouts you see it in snowstorms this is not uh, not the city of its uh, of its um, not the city that we often criticize from other perspectives around the country in times of crisis. And so when the mayor says he's proud of the people of New York as well as the fire department and the police, one should not be surprised. But it is fascinating and terrifying to hear what he says. You prepare for the worst, and you never believe it'll happen. And his emergency management headquarters, right down there near the trade centers, which are no longer possible to operate, this is what they put into place so that in the worst of circumstances, government would have a place to operate. And they can't operate from there. They've had to move uptown because the police department and city hall are not operable, if you will, under the circumstances. And he, the mayor, you heard it yourselves, said he never believed he would live to see anything like this. True of many people. George Stephanopoulos in downtown Manhattan with an eyewitness.
Yes, Peter, I'm here with Neil Stevens, who was in his, his apartment downtown early this morning getting ready for work as he heard the explosion. Porter ...near Shreveport, and he's now headed, uh, we, don't, we know not where, um, and that the, the tape is being ferried to a local broadcasting facility there, and, and uh, you now see the uh, situation there, some live picture from the Pentagon. Um, of officials there in the hall, and here is the president. Here, it, I'm sorry, this is the president to make this statement. This is Barksdale. This is tape, folks, not live. This is being fed. We're going to have another go at it here now and, and see if.